We have two songs today, and we will be using our new note D. Uh, Jingle Bells is the first one, everybody's favorite. Let's take a look at it before we start playing. We see moderato, moderately fast. Mezzo forte, moderately loud. And we see the note B, remember B. Thumb and finger on the left hand. So we have, what was that again? B, 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 B. Songs like this, you know the melody, so it makes it easy to kind of sing. Uh, try and sing the note names while you do it. So B, 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 B. And here we have B, D, G, A, B. Huh. It says practice the measures in the box first. I wonder why. Let's go through this and uh, reading the notes, and then we'll come back to that. C, 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 B, 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 A, A, B, A, D, B, 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 D, G, A, B. There that is again. C, 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 B, 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 D, D, C, A, G. Okay. Why do you think we should practice the measure in the box first? My thought is that we're jumping all over the place. Two, two things. One, we're going from a B up to a D, down to a G, and then back up to a B. There, even though there is a, some stepwise motion, just going up a step at a time, there's also some jumps. From B to D is a jump. From D to G is a big jump, you know? So let's, um, the other reason is, look at these first two measures. It's just B. It's not that hard. Look at this measure. It's just four C's in a row. You know, we got a few half notes here, a whole note, a whole note, more C's. Those are easy. So when you go to practice a large piece of music or anything really, you might want to spend more time on the difficult sections. Like if I played this song and I just kept messing up here, and I said, I got to practice again. What I shouldn't do is practice the parts that I already have. Because I kind of just waste time. I already got, I already know how to go B, 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 B. I know how to go C, 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 C. But what I'm struggling with is the part that I should put my energy and my focus to. So I think that's why they say practice the measure in the box first. So let's practice the measure in the box first. We have B, thumb, finger, right? Then when we switch to D, this is the tricky part. We're switching from this to that. These two are coming off while this is going down. How does that sound? It's a big jump. That's a lot of things needing to be done at once. So then now to G, what is G? Oh, back with my thumb and the three fingers. So we'll try that again. Oops, I messed up because I, was, I wasn't even paying attention to my right hand. But I need to keep that right thumb under there for that D note, right? Let's try it again. Where's A? Lift up this finger. So I'm going to just try that over and over again. I'm not too worried about the rhythm right now. I'm just trying to get the, the muscle memory of my fingers. B, D, G, A, B. That's tricky to you. You might want to just pause right here and practice that until you feel comfortable coming back and doing. And it might take you a few minutes. It might take a few hours. It might take a few days. Whatever it takes is worth it, right? Because even though you might not grow up to become a professional recorder player, you'll become a, grow up to become a professional something. And the same skills that you're using to get that down 
trying over and over again, figuring out what you did wrong, figuring out how to do, be better at it. Those skills are what's going to make you a better professional, whatever you want to become. So we can practice that stuff here. So I'm going to go ahead and move on and play. I will slow this down to clicks and play along with me, please. Try your best. Page 16, Jingle Bells. Starting with B, thumb, finger. One, two, ready, play. listening to how bad I messed up. And that's okay, because I know where those things were. My problem was not here in the box. My problem was coming out of that last four, that fourth measure into C from a B, I, I was trying to go to an A instead of a C. And I did that again down here. So I'm aware of that. I'm going to try and pay more attention to it next time. Let's try it again at tempo. And again, if this is too fast for you, log into the book or to the website. Slow it down to however slow you need it until you feel comfortable and slowly move up. If you can't play something fast, sorry, if you can't play something slow, you're not going to be able to play it fast. Let's try it one more time. Page 16, Jingle Bells. One, two, ready, play. Almost made it through, but I right here at the very end. Last line for me was I notice I keep going to, wanting to go to an A when I, I keep going to an A when I want it should be going to a C. So last two bars for me is D D C A G. Sometimes you just play around with it until you just get it. not how it's written, but hey, it helps me uh, remember the notes and the order. <sighs> Keep practicing. Try your best. Song for today, Go Tell Aunt Rhody. Let's read through it. We have B. How does that sound? I like to sing the note names because that gets it stuck in my head better than just saying the note names, right? Remember, this is music. Music has to do with sounds, not just numbers and word, letters and all that stuff, right? B, B, or sorry, B, B, A, G, G, A, A, C, nope, C, C, B, A, G, D, D, C, B, 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 A, G, A, B, G. Okay, so we have 
One, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, four. Okay. Notice we do have a D in there, and we're coming from a G. The last beat, last two beats of the fourth measure is a G. So we're here, and we're going to be jumping all the way up to there. So three fingers on top and the thumb to just the middle finger. Do that for a second. Say G, D, G, D. And then we're going to be going back to a C after that D, which is that thumb back down. Tricky, huh? Let's slow it down a couple clicks. See how we do. Page 16. Go tell Aunt Rody. Starting with a B. One, two, ready. place that I got tripped up myself is right around here, getting from that D to the C to the B, like I was talking about earlier. So you got to know yourself. You got to be able to kind of tell, where did I mess up? And if you can't do that, if it's just there's so much going on trying to get the notes and the rhythms and reading and all that, it's okay. What you might want to try doing, you have a Chromebook, right? You have, your parents have phones or you have other devices maybe. Record yourself. One of the best training devices you can do, things to make yourself better, whether it's like practicing your basketball shot or you're, you know, swinging a, a, you know, a baseball or whatever, gymnastics, what have you. Recording yourself and watching and listening to yourself is going to make you better because then you don't have to be thinking about it while you're doing it. You just do it, go back, look at it and say, ooh, that's where I messed up. That's where I can get better. Let's try it again at tempo. Page 16. Go tell Aunt Rody. Starting with a B. One, two, ready. Go tell Aunt Rody that you're going to practice more. See you soon.